welcome to our second podcast here live at Hempfest. Uh, we wanted to introduce some of the vendors to you today. Uh, so these two were the first people that we kind of uh, discussed, um, you know, their product and stuff yesterday and really connected with and uh, we found some new best friends. So we'd like to introduce them here to you today. Uh, so they are from the company called Gize Rolling Papers. You can find them on Instagram at Gize Rolling Papers. Uh, so you should go and follow them. So uh, we'll introduce them here. So this is Michaela. Hello. And this here is Rudy. Hello. Thank what's you for joining us today. What's your nickname? What does everybody call you? They call me Rudy Roller because I assist people on using the rolling machines. Rudy Roller. <laughs> that <laughs> That's is a pretty amazing. rocking name. Yeah. I got to <laughs> say, guys, I used some of these papers last night. They're amazing. Like, I'm so used to, like, watching what I lick or, like, how much I lick because, like, this it always comes off, right? That's always the worst. Yeah, and I literally, I use this and it burns so nice and I, yeah, my go-to paper is now for sure. For sure. And it's a German company, guys. Shout yeah. out to the Germans. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I always say if you love your bud, you wrap it in the Gizeh. Yeah. And that I is like true. Because yeah. they've got, our lesson now. they address oh, yeah. all your different needs. they got different thicknesses, so you have different burn rates. So, yeah, so can you tell on. us a bit more about that? Well, sometimes you wrap something up and it doesn't stick for you, and then you realize you're not using your Gizeks. I like that. So then you pull them out, and you twist it up, and then you burn it, and you get like a coal happening on the end of it, and you realize that the paper's burning too quick. So you got yourself too thick of a paper, it's burning too quick. So you gotta go down to a thinner paper. But then you start burning for a while, and you start getting all this paper left over, and people, you know, they'll try to spit on it or whatever, it's the wrong thing to do, but <laughs> you want to burn that paper off because what's happening is your product's burning quicker than your paper. So you need a quicker burning paper, so you go to a thicker paper, okay. it'll burn quicker for you and you'll have a happy burn. Makes so sense. depending on which way you want to go, you got to go for a thicker for a drier product, you got to go for a thinner for a wetter product, okay. and you'll always have a good burn. See, that's amazing. I can't. I, I remember growing up, we had like the choice of white papers or blue papers. Yes, exactly. There was <laughs> <laughs> it was the holy grail of the thinnest paper, thinnest paper, and I followed that for the longest time. Yeah. And I was so frustrated that I always had this canoeing paper, and I yeah. thought it must be me. And then I started not being able to stick papers. And again, I thought it must be me. Yeah. And everybody judges you on that too, right? Yeah. You're yeah. trying to roll a joint and it's not sticking. They're like, oh, you yeah. suck. I'm like, no, yeah. guys, it's the paper. Yeah. I swear it's truly just the paper. Yeah. Yeah. I drank too much orange juice. I'm a little acidic. So yeah. <laughs> All these Pulling just neutralize out the paper. Yeah. So. That's amazing. So uh, they've actually brought along some papers here. So you can see. They that would be all the different pure sounds. 100% organic, 100% hemp line. It's the only certified organic hemp line on the market. Oh my god, I know so many people that would just die. Uses the acacia those. tree glue, the Arabic gum. Oh, okay. And that again is the non starch based, non uh, sugar based glue. So. That's right, you were telling that about yeah. us about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's so amazing. It neutralize on you. And wait, guys, we're going to be doing a giveaway with some of these papers yeah. as well. So stay in tune to our, our Instagram. So, where are you guys based out of? Well, we're actually the wholesale distributors for the product. The product is based out of Germany originally. Uh, the product is made in Austria, and our wholesaler is in Prague. Nice. Okay. And then we sell to the local distributors and retailers on the market. Wonderful. Amazing. So if people wanted to go and buy some of these, can they only, where would they go to buy them? Um, Shout out to Circle K. They picked up our product, so nice. you know okay. it's hey, all over okay. the place with them. And then there's a lot of the local little retail places that have picked up our product as well. And if they haven't, they know where we are, so they can pick it up as well and awesome. help distribute awesome. as well. Because yeah. I know a lot of the people like our product. They keep coming back to us at all the shows, wanting more. Yeah. Yeah. I myself really am not associated with the Gize product or the people who are selling the product. I'm a good friend of the gentleman who is uh, in charge of all of that. Okay. But a few years ago, I'm a medicinal user. I came out to visit him on his boat to go for a sailing excursion, and I came out with my papers, and they were all stuck together in the box, <laughs> and I pulled the last so three first. out, and they just didn't work for me. And here there is this pack of Gizeh papers, and I thought, I'll give it a try. Yeah. And lo and behold, first time I tried it, it stuck, and that's the first for me. Yeah. I usually need like five or six <laughs> papers out of a pack before it'll stick for me, and then I'll 
go to smoke and it'll unravel on me. Yeah. <laughs> so I came across these things and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. So I had to get on on it and uh, he brought me out to the show there in uh, Vancouver the first time and it was just the last day of it. I thought, wow, this is incredible. Great culture. I thought, yeah. I'm medicinal. I've had to use it for anyways, but I just was couldn't get a good paper and they weren't in the stores around where I was. Yeah. And I figured the only way we can get these papers in the market is for people to go to the stores and say, I want these papers. Yeah. So I volunteered to come out to the shows and I've been showing up for all the shows ever since. And uh, amazing. Yeah. been enjoying using them since too. That's, that's awesome. A, that's a true testimony. When exactly. you're just like wanting to come out to be like, hey, like I use these and like they actually work. Yeah. So like to tell people that and show people that and just be like, I'm not really associated with the company, but like I just use them so much and they're like life changing. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, there's nothing more frustrating than needing, like, I suffer from fibromyalgia, I have a collapsed disc in my back, and other issues, and when you're at the worst of your day, and you can't do anything, and you need to get your smoke into it. Yeah, yeah. your medication. And you can't, because you can't just, exactly. it's just. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that being extremely frustrating. I'm so happy that they work for you. Can you tell us a bit about your, uh, do you have a rolling machine as well? Or? Well, yeah, they've got these rolling machines. They're kind of in me too. I know a lot of people who come to these shows, they don't have the ability to roll for themselves. Yes. They want to be able to have their product. So they have these machines here. You take it, you open it up. You have your product in here. You just tuck this down. Okay. You would put your product in here so it's just up to the bottom of it. You would take your papers, and again, this is where the Gizeh papers come in handy because it takes about five seconds for the glue to fully enact and become stuck. Yes. So you have a few seconds to work with it. So you put your product in here, you take your paper, you lick it, you put it so it's glue side up, up to the top, and you hold it there as you start to close this. Now this starts to roll over on top of the paper and grabs the paper. Okay. So then oh. as you take your finger away, this rolls all the way up as it goes, the glue sticks, I can hear it. Yeah. and as you close it, it pops up to the outside here. Oh Are you my kidding? Goodness. So you get a full roll job, even if you so can't cool. have the quite the men like the manual dexterity yes. to actually roll for yourself. You some can roll with yourself. Arthritis yeah. And that have pain in their hands. Yeah. Or stuff. even some people missing digits or whatever. Yes. Yeah. For uh, people that are just bad at rolling, like <laughs> yeah, I know a lot yeah. of those people. So do Me. I. Yeah. Well, I've, <laughs> I've come across a few gentlemen who have come back with PSTD and they need to roll and they're minus a few digits too yep. because of that's what kind of gave them a PSTD to begin with. Exactly. And this gives them a way to not have to have their aid roll it for them. They can do it for themselves. That's amazing. That's, that's so probably the awesome. neatest rolling machine I've ever yeah. seen on the market. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then they wonderful. have these other metal rollers as well, which I find are incredible. Uh, it's uh, excellent manufacturing, uh, good uh, materials that it's made out of. Yeah. yeah. I purchase these about once every year or two, and it sees steady rolling all the time yes. and works all the time for me. That's nice. wonderful. And it's oh, nice and convenient. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it rolls the joint for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there again, I usually at the shows, I'll demonstrate how to use these as well properly so that way you get a perfect, consistent roll out of exactly. these as well. And this again, using these machines gives you a consistent dosing. So you know every time that you roll, yes. you're going to get a consistent amount, a consistent dose, so you know exactly how much you're smoking every time you're doing it. That's amazing. That's awesome. Where if you're twisting by hand and stuff like that, you don't always get a consistent amount exactly. that you're twisting. You don't know if you're getting a consistent dosing of what you need for medicinal purposes. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And my joints were proof of that yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All three were different sizes. <laughs> we were in a so rush. I think we need to get ourselves <laughs> a Gizé machine. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because it's so small. This one's like super That one's convenient. super compact. Yeah. Literally yeah. just tuck it in your like purse. I, do well, I thought it was almost like a yeah. cigarette or like a lighter. Yeah, yeah it's that's literally it, the like same it's size. Literally yeah. the size of a lighter. And like that other one holds your product for you, so that's like a two in one yeah. right exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. And you can throw your papers, everything in there, so you just open it up. So put like your product in place, case. take your papers out, put your paper in there, throw the rest of your papers in there, you close that up, tuck yeah. that in your pocket, and you're ready to go. So if you're hiking or where we are and you need that quick smoke, it's just a one you don't need to worry about having them someplace special to sit down and roll and yeah. break up and everything. You just fill this up with your broken up stuff to begin with with your yeah. papers and you're good to go wherever you're at. That's amazing. Get baked wherever you go. You just blew my mind again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> again, when I go sailing and hiking with my buddy, we go out to Vancouver. We're on the islands. We go hiking up 
walked through the mountains and everything, and it's amazing to be up there. And you got to stop sometimes just to relieve because the hiking does take a toll on your body, but it's you do want to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. So you take a moment, you can have a smoke, and then carry on. Yeah. That's Joy amazing. Mother Nature that way. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love that story. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I'm just blown away. Like, with all this new... See, I'm not a technology person in the first place, right? So then, like, with all of this new, like, pod cannabis stuff coming out, like, rolling, and, like, it just blows the my dab mind every time. And yeah. everything else. Like, some of them are very confusing on how to well, use, and this is so straightforward. Yeah. I'm actually an IT manager in the industry, so I deal with technology, computers, and everything else. So I like to stay on the leading edge, and so I've got my own uh, rosin press, so I press my own rosin. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. From that, I also get to bake my own edibles because then I extract my pucks that I have left over because I don't want to waste anything. Yes, yeah. exactly. So between vaping and my edibles and then having these so I can smoke, it just covers everything I need to do. That's amazing. That's, yeah. Again, mind blown. I'm almost speechless. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is, <laughs> I thought we heard it all yesterday and now you just blew my mind. I can. <laughs> yeah. So I might have to go pick up one of these. Yes, this I think amazing. so. We need this for one yeah. of well, our Yeah. At the yeah. show, we sell these for about twenty dollars. Twenty dollars oh, for the big one? Yeah. And how much for the little one? Uh, these usually go for I think it's six dollars at the show. Wow. Oh my God. Did you $6. hear that, guys? Six dollars for the portable one. And the stores, one? of course, you're paying a little bit more than yeah. that, but it's yeah. still worth what you buy. Oh, that's oh, why you guys got to come down today, and yes. like you got to check out everybody here, but especially go to. Well, and, and if you want to come down today, we have free one tickets. One of each of those left, so. <laughs> one each? Yeah, yeah, I have a whole stack oh. of them. Yeah, we have tons of free tickets to give away today, guys. So if you guys want to come down and join us and check out booths like these, uh, yeah. just go to hempfestwinnipeg.com and use the code GREEN. GREEN. Free tickets. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So now we want to hear a little bit from Michaela. This is a wonderful, wonderful young lady that we met yesterday. Uh, we even went to the after party together last night. And, yeah, that was uh, the best. I've learned so much about her. Uh, she doesn't only work with Gizé Rolling Papers. Uh, she is an uh, Instagram star, I guess. Superstar. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit more about that and all your different accounts and uh, yeah. what you do online? Okay, so basically what I do is I create content for other companies occasionally. I have a set list of companies that I specifically work for because I don't like every company that approaches me. And you have to be one with a company. I will not work for a company that I'm not friends with. So I've been, I started doing this when I was 15. Wow. wow. And I was and still like 23. Wow. wow. Yeah, so this is like, yeah, it is, and it's honestly the best thing ever. I actually started working with Arizona and vitamin water. Oh, nice. Yeah, like right off the hop, and it was just like, oh, you know, like we want to like sponsor you sort of. So like they didn't pay me, but they paid me with product, yes. which was way cool. And that's like what I'm always stoked about because I love getting free stuff. Yeah. Like whatever, you don't got to pay me, just give me free stuff, <laughs> you know? like so. But then there's companies that are all like, oh, well, you know, will you pay for us? And I'm like, I'm not paying you for me to create content for you. Yeah. So like that gets super frustrating. But um, yeah. That's I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Um, We're at Hempfest. We understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's amazing. So you got into that. So pretty much now you just create content. Yeah. Con content. content. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, for different companies. Yeah. And I used to work in the film industry, so that kind of gave me, you know, a lot of um, op more doors and yeah. everything. That's so, how did you get so um, actually, funny story. When I started working in Vancouver, I moved. I just moved back, so 2017, last year, in October, I was hired at Fan City Weed, and yeah, I loved working there so much. Everyone was so cool. I worked at the Granville location. Okay. They're now known as City Cannabis, but they're so cool. And the general manager there who hired me, she taught me how to roll using Gizé rolling papers. Are you serious? Yeah, and so that was, like, I never knew how to roll before. I couldn't do it to save my life. Yeah. And she was one who was teaching me, and, oh, it was amazing. And I, I, I can roll a joint pretty decent now, but... <laughs> like, no big deal. No big deal, it's okay, yeah. but... No machine needed. No machine needed. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, after a few, I'd still need a machine. <laughs> You're just really concentrating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is it the morning? <laughs> That's amazing. That's kind of like a dream job, eh? Like, yeah. Wow, good on you, man. Thank 
I'm proud of you. I don't really like know you as much as Lisa knows you now, but like I'm still. I feel this pride for you. That's yes. like good on you, man. I love. Hey, we're all best friends. We are best friends. <laughs> yeah. You're stuck with us forever now. Forever. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Good. Yes, best friends. Yes. <laughs> It's actually, it was a shipping issue that led to everything in the end. Because normally we have some nice banners and everything else to attract people into our booth. Yeah. And uh, we get here Friday night to set everything up, and none of our display materials are here whatsoever. Oh, no. Nothing to draw anybody into the booth, nothing to say, hey, we're here, nothing to say, Gize. Yeah. And nice fortunately, my friend Kirk, who's involved in all of this and in charge of all of this, yes. New Michaela. Yeah. And so she He's gave her a buzz on the, uh, <laughs> and said, hey, look, can you fill in for us? Can you help fill our booth? Yeah. That's amazing. And she was there for us, so. That's amazing. Yeah. You can trust these people, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I also have, like, I get a little, I get product, you know, to give away in all of my giveaways on my Instagram. Yes. Nice. So we just did actually a really big one on, like, on legalization. Oh, okay. I gave, I gave away one eighth. And then I also gave away a flight pen and some like some other products in there, and I yes. gave a lot of like rolling papers from the company and team swag. So what's what's your IG? What can people follow? Uh, like Mickers one hundred and one. Mickers one hundred and one. Yeah. Nice. Well, we gotta shout that out. I'm following. Yeah. Um, I'm a Rudy, Rudy Roller. Um, I'm not super active on that. I do try to do what I can on it, but yes. like I said, I, I am very busy in my other industry. I've got two different companies that I support that I am busy dealing with that, plus our people and our sales staff and everything else who are wonderful people as well. Yeah. And they're great that they let me take some weekends off here and there because I am so busy doing my other work that exactly. I'm able to take the odd weekend off to come out and help Easy as well. That's amazing that like you're just kind of a, a volunteer and, yeah. and that you make that time for your busy lifestyle to, yeah. to help out a company that you really are passionate about. So. Well, the word needs to get out there. Uh, Giza papers, they work wonderful. My biggest problem was things that don't stick yeah. and the frustration behind it. And I know when people are not feeling well, they become more and more acidic. So people who are just out there for fun and they just want to smoke whatever they want to smoke or whatever, they may not have an issue with their papers. Yes. But I know a lot of medicinal people who do need their medication on a regular basis exactly. have the same issues I have. That we're acidic. It's not our fault. Yeah. We just need papers that work for us. Yeah. And so with the Gizeh brand, it's a good paper to go with. That's awesome. I'm, I'm so, so happy that we found you guys. Yeah. I'm so excited to do a giveaway too, guys. We're going to do a giveaway on our Instagram. Lucky is gonna, cause I can't even like I was already telling my friends last night I was calling them as I'm smoking at home and I was like Scotty, <laughs> you're never gonna fucking believe this. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it now? Right now? now I see it. You yes. see it? <laughs> Hi camera. <laughs> Same though. Yeah. <laughs> we just got here, so excuse us. <laughs> and uh, anything else you would like to add about this, sir? Um, or about your personal accounts? Or well, my personal accounts are pretty dope if you want to follow them. <laughs> you know, I'm always posting funny content. My Snapchat is popping, let me tell you. <laughs> like, you want a good joke, you want a good laugh during your day at work, you follow my Snapchat. What's your Snapchat? <laughs> Mickers101. Same as all my other <laughs> social media. Easy. That's yeah. Easy. It's following you on all social media now. So. Yeah, I already <laughs> yeah. am. And I need to send you that picture from last night. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That picture was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was dominating a pool. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was kicking all the boys' butts. Oh, I'm so yeah, jealous. We were I some missed pin, out. Pinball. Yeah. So jealous. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> oh, I know. You really she missed it. She was texting it. me. I was like, man, I really want to come. <laughs> like, uh, but next time. Next yeah. time. Next time. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And since we're on the topic of last night's after party, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Mariaji's Theme Suite Hotel and Couple Spa. Uh, thank you so much for hosting and inviting us all down to your uh, tropical penthouse last night. Uh, the tour of the other rooms was amazing as well. So, so cool. uh, And also, if you're here at Hempfest, make sure to stop by the Mariaji booth. They're doing 10-minute uh, massages. Uh, they're also selling $100 gift cards for $25 each. Damn, that's I a know, good right? deal. Yeah. I like me a good $75 deal. Yeah. And a free, free 10 minute right? massage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I accept. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> like, does anybody have a birthday or anything coming up soon? <laughs> does anyone want to take me on a date? Right. <laughs> hey. Hey. 
<laughs> oh yes, and I also found out that you can rent them for four to six hours during the day as oh well, just for spa goodness. purpose. Spa like purposes. Smart, oh, smart <laughs> spa purposes. To so use the hot tubs and stuff. Oh, no, I don't want to go in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. It was still beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. And that piano, oh my gosh, it played so nicely. Yes. It was nice and smooth. Yeah. Well, yeah, I definitely took a, took a try at it. <laughs> it was an amazing night. Oh, yeah. For so sure. So much fun. <laughs> and uh, aren't you guys doing a kind of a special thing at the booth if you... If you come say hello at the booth and you can yeah, follow Yeah, come say hello. Come follow us on Instagram and use our hashtags. Take a picture with me and everyone in the booth. Post it and we'll throw you some samples. That's yeah. amazing. That's so if you're here at Hempfest, make sure to stop by the Gize booth. They're amazing people. Uh, Kirk is the other guy that's uh, at the booth now that was nice enough to allow these two to come and join us. <laughs> yeah. So thank you to Kirk. And yeah, he's uh, actually the man. Yes, he is the man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he is the Gize man himself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kirk from Culture Shop. Kirk, Kirk from Culture Shop? Culture Shop, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, Culture so make sure, to, make sure to check them out on Instagram and online. And uh, anything else we'd like to add today? Uh, sorry, I'm a little, just lost <laughs> my train of thought. <laughs> wow, same. Wow. Wow. That's why we're best friends. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's exactly why. We connect on a whole nother level. We work well together. Yes, <laughs> very. <laughs> yeah, guys. So as soon as you come in, go to your right. That's where the Gize, uh, Gize, right? Gize. Gize. God damn it. I'm not going to, like, it's my tongue Canadian. doesn't come work on. that way. Yeah, Canadian, eh? Exactly. Yeah, Gize. Don't you know? okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it better. Yeah. And then being from Manitoba, too, you already have an accent. <laughs> Do we? Yeah. I'm from Manitoba. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that we have an accent. <laughs> I didn't realize that Everybody myself. says it. <laughs> That is hilarious. I had a family member come Learned up from uh, new, every day. new York, and she lives in the Bronx. Yeah. Close to the Bronx, and she was just like, me and my brother started talking, and she's just staring at us. And she's like, you guys talk so funny. It's awesome. And I was like, what? I'm like, you Sorry. talk funny. <laughs> talk funny. <laughs> Sorry, eh? <laughs> Sorry, eh? <laughs> Here's the Timmy's, eh? <laughs> Don't you know? Oh, we got them hooked on poutine, though. They never had a poutine. Oh, oh, oh so every good. Every single day they were here, they're like, let's go get a poutine. <laughs> Poutine's and fat boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my uh, munchy choice. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is amazing. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap up this interview. Uh, so thank you again to Michaela and Rudy thank and Kirk, so who's much, not here. Thank you guys, for everything. And uh, thank we're obviously going to come to see you before, you know. Oh, oh yes, heck definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be there in between, in between our podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out. <laughs> yeah, heck yes. Awesome. awesome. So next, uh, next up, we have uh, Pura Vida vapes coming to meet with us so we're just going to take a brief break here and join us back at 1 30. yes bye guys